I really want to highlight. I like going through and highlighting the titles and like the keywords and stuff. This is how you make the most amazing, perfect in the world hot chocolate. Welcome back to my channel. So, happy Wednesday. It is vlog day. I was planning on doing like a study vlog today because I've got so much uni work to get done because I've had like homework, kind of homework for uni that I need to get done. And I've not really done very much of it. So I thought I would do like a study vlog, do a lot of that, get a lot of that done. I've really though had a slow day so far and it's already like three o'clock or something. Okay, it's already four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so far today I've not really done very much, so it's time to get productive. The first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of editing. Yes, that's not uni work, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I'm going to do a little bit of editing, and then I'm going to start on the uni work. I promise. Okay, I don't promise, but I'm going to try to. So I will do the editing, and then we'll go downstairs and start doing some uni work. Let's go. So I've done some editing, I didn't finish but I did a bit and now I'm going to go downstairs, I'm going to put a hoodie on, we're going to go downstairs, get a nice coffee and I'm going to sit and try and crack on with some uni work. I don't know if it's going to be successful or not but I'm going to try my best. I think I'm going to do some planning as well maybe because I have a lot of work to get done so I'm going to plan when I'm going to do it and like make a checklist of everything I need to do. That seems fun. So let's go and do that. Okay, dokey. Okay, dokey, guys. So I've got my coffee now. That what accent was that? That was awful. But I've got my coffee, and I'm going to write a big old to-do list of all the things I need to do. So I'm going to print out a to-do list, and I'm going to start writing it. All the things I've got to do. So that is task number one. Let's do it. That was really aggressive. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all of the uni tasks I need to do, all of the things I should do, and then extra things that I could do, but I don't have to. Yeah, I feel, feel like this is going to get me very organised. I feel like this is going to be a big stepping stone for me. So, everyone cheer! Woo! Go Ellie! Okay, that was a bit weird. I'm just going to do it now. Okie dokie, so I've wrote my list of things that I need to do and of course I really want to do the things that are in the do for fun, not the must get done section, but I'm going to start on the must get done's. I'm going to start off with some reading, I have to like read and take notes on three chapters of this book. I've already done like half a chapter. I was gonna say I've already done a chapter but I realised I haven't even finished it so I'm gonna finish doing the first chapter and then I need to do two more but I'm probably just gonna do one more and then do something else on my list so it's not like just reading for ages. My voice went really weird then. <clears throat> so yeah I'm gonna go through and do those notes and then see if I want to do something else. I just can't decide what I want to do like oh, I don't really know. So we're gonna do the reading. I'm gonna do it right now. Let's go. I'm literally trying to motivate myself to read. I hate reading. Okay, so I finished writing about one chapter and I'm moving on to the next one now. So I'm going to do this and then I'll do something else, but I've literally just wrote a couple of notes. I don't know if you can see. I'm trying to write them really neat because last term I started off writing neat and ended up writing messy. So I want to keep it neat the whole time. Yeah, I've done quite a few notes and now we're going to do quite a few more, I guess. I don't know how many pages there is. Hopefully not too many because, as I said, reading is not my forte. Okay, so I have wrote a lot more notes and <laughs> yeah so i've nearly finished that chapter i've just got like one little section left of this chapter to do and then i've just got one more chapter and then i'm done all of the reading for this specific book but i think it's going pretty well i like understand what i'm writing which is good and i think it's actually kind of interesting so yeah that's always a positive i'm really hungry though so i think i'm gonna 
and it's six o'clock so i think i'm gonna go and make some din din um and then do a bit more after dinner because obviously i need to still do a bit more today because i've got a lot to do i've got a lot to do and i think that's okay but it's going well i really want to highlight i like going through and highlighting the titles and like the keywords and stuff but i like to do it after the pens dried so it doesn't ruin my highlighters does that make any sense i feel like it doesn't and i feel like that's okay so yeah I'm gonna go now and make din dins. Don't know what I'm gonna have, they'll be good. So, I am going to finish off writing my notes now because I've had my dinner. I literally just had fish fingers and chips. It was a quick meal, easy meal kids meal and it was pretty nice but now i'm gonna do this because i feel like i need to get it done i really want to finish this like section so i can take off the first thing my to-do list because i've not got that much left i'm going to write a little bit more i need to do notes on all of this bit and then this bit and that bit and then i've only got one more chapter <laughs> Okay, so I finished writing notes on that chapter. I've got one more chapter to do, but I really want to take a little break from doing this again, just because I've not been doing it for that long, but I've been like concentrating really hard. So I'm not very good at doing so. Um, I might go get like dessert for my dinner. Like I might go have something or like coffee or something, just like a nice drink. I don't know. I feel like I might stay up a little bit late today so I can do this, but we will see. So yeah, I'm, I'm not feeling an all nighter, but I'm feeling a late nighter. So I think I'm going to go get coffee and then come back to this. Okay, so I had like an hour break from doing uni work just because I was getting like tired But I'm gonna make myself a hot chocolate now and then carry on until I finished reading that topic I think although All of the other chapters had like three pages not three pages like five pages and this one has like 12 So that makes me really angry more than that actually maybe like 20. I don't know a lot So I'm gonna make hot chocolate and then we will get back to it. Yeah Yeah <laughs> This is how you make the most amazing, perfect in the world hot chocolate, if that makes sense. I'm sure it does. Spoon, instant hot chocolate, Capri's. Always Capri's because it is the only brand of chocolate that actually matters. I speak facts. One, two, three, four teaspoons. Boiling water from the tap, but boiling, not tap water. Not warm tap water, that, no, boiling. It's a hot kettle tap. And then, you aggressively stir, stir, stir like your life depends on this hot chocolate. Then we add milk, just a little bit. Dooby dooby doo. Ooh, that's enough milk. Marshmallows. I've got mini ones, but that's just me. Sprinkle some marshmallows. Dooby dooby. Then. Whipped cream. You go zigzag, 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 zigzag. But that's just the beginning. That's just the base. That was way too much. You're not supposed to do that much. Just trimming the edges, don't mind me. Neatening it up, of course. More mini marshmallows. Just kind of sprinkle. Sprinkle them on. Shimmer, shimmer, shimmer. Okay, that was a bit much, but it's okay. And there you have the perfect hot chocolate. Did I lie? Did I stutter? No. Right, I'm not proud of this, but I did just eat all of the nice little sweeties off the top. Uh, anyway, so now I'm gonna write this chapter. Well, not write it. I'm gonna make notes on it and stuff. I probably make more notes than what's necessary. Like we got told to make notes on these chapters and I've made like a couple pages of notes. However, I feel like I have to put it in my words to understand it. Like I feel like if I just read it and write down like a few words, I won't really get it. If I write down most of the points or like half of the points, but in my words, then I understand it. So I don't know if that's just me or if anyone else is like that as well, but if you don't understand what you're reading, I recommend just trying to put it into your own words. So I'm gonna do the chapter now. Hopefully I'll be done not too late because it's like 10 o'clock now. So yeah, let's go. So I've 
done a bit more but I realised this section is kind of hard to make notes on because it's basically like explaining different exercises that you can do for this like certain part of drama kind of thing but it's like hard to write it down without just writing down all the instructions on how to do the exercise so it's kind of really hard to make notes on and like visualise so yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest and I'm probably not going to finish this whole chapter because it's really long So I'm just going to try and do like probably just finish this page of notes or like finish this Section and then I'll go upstairs and start like getting ready for bed just because it's already 11 p.m Like that did not feel like I did an hour of work But I did and I want to get ready for bed so I can go to bed fairly early so I can wake up early and then I can be like nice productive Let's finish it off, finish strong. Okay, so I've come upstairs now and I'm about to take my makeup off and I'm just sitting in bed. I'm really tired, to be honest. TBH, I'm really tired and I know that I need to wake up tomorrow because I need to edit this video and yeah, it might have been a short one or it might have just been uneventful. But it's gonna be like that sometimes while I'm a uni student and also I know that I wasn't as productive as I could have been today Like I got an okay amount of work done, but not as much as I wanted to get done However, I'm not gonna let that get me down because that just means that this is something to work from like today I got two and a half like decent sized tasks done And now I know that like tomorrow I'm gonna get three done or you know the day after I'll get four done Maybe one day I'll do five in a day like I don't know I'm working on improving my concentration and ability to work for multiple hours because I always need really big breaks so I'm working on that that's a February goal of mine and you know it's only upwards from here I've also had a bit of a break from uni work so I'm like trying to get back into it which is tricky but yeah I'm tired so I'm going to take off my makeup and I'm gonna sit in bed try and chill out and relax my brain cells before I go to sleep I might read something that is not academic words that don't really matter whether they do because words matter i don't know i'm not gonna keep talking okay let's go to bed okay guys so it is the next day because i just kind of went to sleep and didn't film an outro which seems to be something i'm like really good at doing not filming outros but guys thank you for watching this little vlog video um i hope you enjoyed seeing me try to study i know it wasn't 100 percent successful but we can work on that in the future onwards and upwards only but yes guys i hope you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up if you did and subscribe with the big red subscribe button if you've not already follow me on all of my social media accounts to stay up to date with what i'm doing shop my merch ellielouiseshop.com link in the description box down below and i guess the only thing left to say is i love you a lotty and i'll see you in my next video bye guys forgot to blow a kiss then